Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video I will be showing you how to use the Fruity Mute 2 plugin in FL Studio. Now it's a super simple plugin, but it does have its uses. And what it does is it mutes its input. And you can tell it to mute either both channels, the left and the right, just the left, or just the right. So how it works is when the mute is set to on, it means the sound is on, which is kind of weird, but whatever. And if it's set to off, then the sound is off. So I've routed this reverb snare through the mute, so you, I can show you how that sounds. So here's with it on. And then if I turn it to off, you won't hear any sound. But if I turn it back on, you will hear the end of the reverb. because the reverb was still happening and I turned the mute off. So it let that reverb through. Okay, so if you have the mute on and you select only the left channel, that means you'll only hear the right channel. So you'll hear this in only your right speaker. And then you can change it to the middle or change it to the right and now you'll only hear it in your left speaker. So that's pretty much it for this plugin, but I am going to show you a cool example of one of its uses in the playlist. So here I have, you know, a typical big room drop or whatever. And you can hear the sound keeps playing in this section of the song. And in a lot of big room tracks, that doesn't really happen. And I don't want that to happen. I want it to go back to silence when the next kick hits. So I'll open up the mute since it's already on that track and create an automation clip of the mute level. And it's really easy, you can just drag it from the top, the top will be on, and you can put it on the bottom, the bottom will be off, and you know, select hold for the line type. I wasn't really paying attention while I was drawing that, I don't want to mute it when the snare hits, I want to mute it when the next kick hits. So now when I play it, the reverb will be muted at this point, so I'll show you that. And you can hear that now, it mutes right here. So I'll solo that and the automation. So you know, that's a pretty cool effect. And that's the fruity mute. Thanks for watching my tutorial video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch new videos as soon as I upload them. After that, check out the Beat School website. I'll have the link in the description. All my tutorials are organized on the site so that you can easily find what you need by browsing through the different categories. There are also a ton of awesome resources to help you in every aspect of music production. And if you want to help support me, you can buy any of my sample packs, preset packs, or project files for only $5 or less. This gets you some great sounds for a great price and allows me to spend more time making these tutorials and working on the website. Thanks again for watching my video and have a great day.